Hello everyone, my name is Karim Abu Shusha. I'm an environment artist, a lighting artist, and welcome to 20 Minute Learning. Before we start, please don't forget to follow me in my art station if you want, you, if you, if you want to get some free stuff like substance designer material or some 3D assets you can find a lot of uh, material in my art station and also please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. So in the first video we talked about how to create a base mesh in Substance Designer and today we'll see how to add the color. So the color is very easy to add it and there is a magic tool here in Substance Designer to bring your color variation as a real life. So what we can do with this so let's first search on what kind of material you want so if i will make my my full ground material like this it's mud so i will try to search about something like that okay so i downloaded this material okay then i will drag it here okay in substance designer and here we will start to add our material so in the base color i will press b and i will add blend okay and i will go to this material okay this ground and first thing i will take this, this uh, can you can see here this is a mask like a mask so i will take the mask and i will put it here in opacity and then i will add the nodes it's called gradient map and so gradient map will take the information from the this material this, this image to make the same feeling okay so i will add it here in background and then i will connect it with this material okay so if we double click in gradient map and then I will double click here first and then one click in gradient map and then I will open gradient editor okay and from big gradient you can make something like that and you will take the color information so it's easy <laughs> you will now you can get the same feeling of the mud okay so maybe you need to make your material as a desert or sand desert pictures okay so let's find something like that and i will download for this okay and then i will drag my own material here okay and make the same things okay so now i can get this or if i want to make this dots you can see his, here is a some color variation i can add the node it's called bnw okay and then connect it with my floor so i will blend it together and i will add this okay and now i can scale like that okay so now i get this the same feeling okay so now i need to add the other color for for this shape so what i have to do basically if i create uniform color and i will make something like that so now i get the other color so Let's search on pictures.com. Maybe we can find something like that. Okay, so let's download it and drag, drag it here. Okay, but in this time we need to add something different. Okay, so what we have to do first, I will select my own color or we can select it like that okay so it's very really easy now you can get the color variation and if you want to add more details so 
please focus, uh, try to be more focused with me. So I will add the node, it's called branch, okay? And from branch, I will add another node, it's called direction war. And I will connect it here, and I will connect it with this shape. Okay, I connected with the direction word because I need to take this information and put it inside for each part of this shape to give me more variation. So I will make something like that. Okay, and then we'll add blend again and connect it with the opacity and take maybe I can. Add the illustration, HSL, connected with the, this, or, sorry, I need to create new one of gradient, and I will connect it with direction war, and we'll make something like that, okay? And then connect it together. So, as you can see here, it give me some color variation, okay? So now I can change my color variation, okay? And for me, I prefer to use this mud. So let's change the color to the mud. Or we can make new one and connect it together. Okay, so I will blend it. And from here, I can control of my opacity. Okay. So after that, we can make something like, we can go back here, okay, and increase the space between each one of this. So let's try. Oh. One point one. 1.01, .01. okay, yes, perfect, okay. So now I can get this color kind of variation or maybe if we need to add some change, we can get this material, okay. And I will add it here. And I can get this variation, okay? And if I want to change the color, you can you can add here situation, and now you have you can control of your material variation. Okay, so that's basically how to add the your color. It's the same thing you can add any color like this or after if if you finish and you need to add some dirt like substance painter there is a, a nudes here it's called dirt edge you find or dirt i will find dirt okay so i will add dirt here and if you go to dirt details you can see here you have to connect with ambient occlusion so i will drag to ambient occlusion here, and now we have the curvature. How to get the curvature uh, information? So I will write here, and you can see curvature, and then connected with this, and connected with normal map, okay? So if we double click here, maybe we can increase the amount. If you double click here, you can find now the dirt, nodes so if we connected 
if we add something like that and connect it here, okay, we can get maybe the illustration of this and make it more bright. And now, Okay, something like that. As you can see here, you can add your dirt and you can change your color so you can get more variation. And if you change it, your color here, you can get some blended between the ground and the base, your base mesh. So now your material is ready. So we just have to add roughness. So to add the roughness, if you remember, when we add this, we can use this information as a roughness. So let's connect this roughness with this nodes. So if we go here, you can find this roughness, but to make it more realistic, I can connect with something it's called histogram range. So histogram range is basically it's it's you can control with with uh, uh, black and white, black and white value. So we can make something like that. Okay. Yes. I think it's much better. Okay, so now we're done, we're almost done. So the first thing I want to show you, if you want to add water in the sur on the surface, so it's very easy. So how we can add water surface? So if we write here and add water, so you can find water level, and from here, you have to connect your input with output. So here, the normal of my output, so I will connect it with the normal, and we, we connect it with the normal output. And from input, I will connect my base to output, okay? And the roughness, let's connect it with the roughness. Okay, metallic, we don't have metallic right now. So AO with the AO. If you have mask, you can add it with the mask. And the last one is a high information with high information. And here basically you can get the water surface. And it's very nice for controlling and it gives you very nice details. So now our material is ready. So you can change your, you see here, you can change your slope, you can change your depth, you can change your color, and also you can export it your color if you want to change it on any 3D software. So I will make something like that, okay? So now our material is ready, okay? If we go here, you can find your material. It's very realistic, right? So we almost done, but let's try to add this material on Unreal Engine and we'll see the power of Substance Designer. So I will, ex I will remove these resources because I don't want these resources anymore. So let's remove it from here. Okay. And I will export, I will go here, my floor material and export output. You can select it your resolution from here is 2K, it's, it's okay with me. So, ground, and I will export it, my material, 
and from Unreal here, I will create, I will go back here, ground, okay, and I will drag, sorry, it's, I will add here, okay, and then I will take, or let's make from, oh, I don't want to make from beginning, I will take this and copy paste, okay, so I will connect it my so I will ch make some change here because I don't have emissive, I don't have opacity, this is other material. So I will connect the base color with the base color, the metallic, we don't have metallic. So the roughness, we can add it with, with the roughness. Oh, sorry. It's crash, it's crash, crash, crash. Oh, shit, it's crash. So let's open from beginning. Or well, it's okay. We'll see it in the next video. So <laughs> sorry for that. So I hope you will like this video and let's try to add your color variation and i am very excited to see your result i hope you like my video and please don't forget to share my videos and like my my youtube channel and press subscribe thank you and see you in the next video bye bye